A few days ago, a member of my Discord server named Clothing Hanger discovered a huge glitch in the new game Bowser's Fury, and this glitch has to do with the power-up called the Propeller Box. And today, we are going to use this glitch to perform jumps that are otherwise impossible in Bowser's Fury. So let me explain this glitch first. There's a power-up in Bowser's Fury and Super Mario 3D World called the Propeller Box that gives you a high vertical boost when you hold the jump button, and after this vertical boost is used up, you can hold down the jump button to glide down slowly. And you have to wait until you reach the ground before you can use this vertical boost again. Except. What Clothing Hanger discovered was that if Mario bounces on top of Bowser Jr., then Mario gets his vertical boost replenished, and he can fly up high again without having to touch the floor. That means if you're climbing up a wall and you have the propeller box, and you call over Bowser Jr., you can bounce on him to climb up even higher by getting another vertical boost from the propeller box. Let me give you a few examples of some jumps that would be impossible, but are possible if we use these Bowser Jr. bounces. A level 1 difficulty jump is getting up to the top part here in Scamper Shores. With the propeller box and the cat suit, you can get up to the middle part here without any problem, and from here, you can jump up to the top without even needing to Bowser bounce. But let's make this a bit more difficult. Let's say that we're not allowed to land on the middle platform here, and you still have to make it up to the top. Here's what I did. I jumped, I got a propeller boost, and I called over Bowser Jr. while I was climbing. Then I bounced on Bowser Jr., jumped off of the wall so you don't get caught on the part above you that is sticking out. Then I got a second bounce on Bowser Jr., and since we did get a Bowser bounce, we can now use the vertical boost from the propeller box again, so Mario flies to this top part of the island from the very bottom from the floor. Level 2 difficulty is making it up to Claw Swipe Coliseum from the level entry gate. I jump from the gate and I float over to the building and I start climbing up. I'm trying to call over Bowser Jr. so I can bounce on him, but I can't get him in place. After trying to jump and climb a few times, I get Bowser Jr. in place, bounce on him, and fly up, but this upper part of the building is sticking out, trying to make it difficult to climb up this building, so it looks like I won't be able to make it this time. But then I get another Bowser Jr. bounce, and I had another chance to make it up here, but I messed this up. I wanted to show this clip because it shows just how many opportunities you have to make it up here if you are able to get the Bowser Jr. bounces. You don't have to rely on every single Bowser Jr. bounce in a level 2 difficulty jump like this. Both of these attempts could have made it to the top, and the second Bowser Jr. bounce even gave me a second shot at making it up there. Let's do it right this time. Here's a jump from the gate, we fly over to the building, we climb up, we jump off, we get a Bowser bounce, and this time we move back so that when you fly up, you can get up and around the lip of the building that's sticking out, and there we go, up at the top from the level entry gate. Here is a level 3 difficulty jump, Rolling Roller Island. Now things are starting to get really difficult. Have you ever been to this level and thought that the part with the spinning platforms and the lava was a bit difficult? Well, let's completely avoid that part of the level. Let's jump onto this part where the lighthouse is far above us, we will climb up, we'll call Bowser, then we'll jump off and get a Bowser bounce here, then we'll fly up some more because you're able to fly after bouncing on Bowser, and that isn't even going to be enough to make it up high enough because there's a lip that's sticking out here and preventing us from climbing up further. So we need to get one more Bowser bounce and we have to pull back again so we can fly up and around it to get to the top of the island. Even though this might seem like a really cool strategy for the key to the cat shine in this level, it might still be faster to do what speedrunners normally do than what's done here. This is a really cool climb because you have to get both of the Bowser bounces to be able to make it up here, and you also have to maneuver properly up and around the island to be able to make it up to the top. And looking down from here, it's a pretty big drop from here. We got up pretty high for making just one jump from the ground and using Bowser bounces. Level 4 difficulty is the first challenge that seems impossible even with Bowser bounces. Normally, this pipe here acts like a cannon and fires you up to the level Slip Skate Slope. Look at how high this level is. There are just so many pieces of the level that stick out farther and farther as you move up. It has to be impossible to climb this, right? It's like the game developers created this level in this way so that you wouldn't be able to climb up here, right? Well, we're going to try to find a way up here without using the pipe to fire us up here. 
After a lot of attempts from trying different angles from all around the column, I think that this angle here is the best one to start from. Our best hope is climbing up the level and getting to this part of the platform here where we'll be able to land on floor and from here we'll be able to reset our jumps and our Bowser bounces. So here we go, let's fly up as high as we can, let's climb up the column, get a Bowser bounce. I accidentally used up two Bowser bounces here and I made it up past one of these lips but I got stuck before making it up to the next lip. I tried to get another Bowser Bounce, but despite all of my efforts, I wasn't able to get a third Bowser Bounce. So I'm thinking that maybe you are capped at two Bowser Bounces maximum. I floated over to this wedge that's slightly sticking out of the level, and since this is floor, we should have another jump now and another two Bowser Bounces available, so maybe we'll be able to continue climbing up the level from here. So let's jump and fly up, let's climb as much as we can, let's call over Bowser Jr. for a Bowser Bounce, and we just barely miss the top. We've got to call over Bowser Jr. for one more Bowser Bounce so that we could make it to the top, but he doesn't show up for the Bowser Bounce until really late, and we just barely miss the top again. But then we jump off the wall, we float over towards the level, and luckily that brings us into the level. I couldn't believe it that we were able to make it all the way up to this level from the floor without using the pipe to launch us like a cannon. We made it into Slip Skate Slope without using the pipe to launch us. This is a seriously difficult jump to make because even if you land two of the Bowser bounces, you still might not be able to make it to the very top. And even getting Bowser in the right place for a Bowser bounce is something that's difficult to do. A big thank you and shoutouts to Clothing Hanger for sharing this glitch with us in the Discord server and if you guys are interested in seeing any other impossible jump challenges or any other challenges, let me know in a comment, I'll be happy to see it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, wishing all of you a fantastic day and take care everybody.